Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Now, listen, uh, we got a lot of things that I want to get into today, so just let's just get straight into it. I knew some people out there in the media were going to cheerlead for LeBron, but I didn't expect what I heard today. Funny enough, we weren't even planning on doing this video. We had another video that we had already that we we're already planning to release, and then I just saw some stuff out there that, that immediately triggered me. What am I talking about? For those of you who don't know, those of you who've been under a rock for the last 24 hours or 48 hours, you know what happened with LeBron James and uh, what is it, Isaiah Stewart um, with the Lakers versus Pistons game? He elbowed him in the face, bloodied him, almost turned into a full blown brawl because the guy just completely just blacked out and was trying to charge a LeBron. He couldn't. Um, and then he was trying to be restrained by some of the coaching staff of the Detroit Pistons and all of these different things, right? So we remember that. And we were all kind of waiting for the verdict. And today the verdict came out. And I was waiting to hear what some of the people in media uh, were going to say some of the voices that were on TV. And what I've heard thus far from some, from two key people, one of them who I really like, uh, respect, is just, I, I found it to be absolutely absurd. The only reasonable voices that I heard yesterday Regarding this matter, there were very there were, there were select few. Skip Bayless was being reasonable. Stephen A. Smith was being reasonable. Jay Williams today, I heard him. He gave some reasonable takes. And Max Kellerman. These are the guys that have given some reasonable, measurable uh, takes on this particular matter. But today, I, I listened to a segment on First Things First, which I generally don't watch because I'm, I'm not a fan of the show. And I heard some things from Chris Broussard and Nick Wright that just totally blew me away as it pertains to the suspension of LeBron James and Isaiah Stewart. So before we go too far, what we want to do here is play some of their comments for you, and then we're going to come back and we're going to give you guys our thoughts and opinions on, what, on some of the things that they have to say. So before we go too far, take a listen to some of the things that they have to say here. Well, of course, yesterday I said that I didn't think LeBron should get suspended um, because I didn't think it was intentional. All right, I don't think he tried to hurt Isaiah Stewart on purpose. He obviously went after afterwards to try to hey, man, you all right? I'm sorry about that. It didn't mean to do it. And after the game, there's reports that after the game, he tried to reach out to Isaiah Stewart and call him and, and, you know, get his phone number to try to tell him he didn't mean it, to reiterate that. However, the league is not in the business of judging intentions. The league goes with what actually happened. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not upset about a one-game suspension, even though I didn't think he deserved one. I'm fine with that. As far as Isaiah Stewart, I said yesterday he should get two games or more. I just think there should have been a wider gap between LeBron's punishment and Isaiah Stewart's. All right, so I would say either two, like I said yesterday, two games for Stewart, zero for LeBron, or one game for LeBron, three for Stewart. And people might think I'm crazy because obviously LeBron started it and Isaiah Stewart didn't hit anybody or anything. However, the, I can't say this strong enough. The league has got to send a message that that cannot happen. Look, accidents happen. Mistakes happen. Even if it was on purpose, you can't respond the way Isaiah Stewart did because what if he had gotten to LeBron? And you heard Anthony His Davis other in the post game. Bloody. Oh, we're going to defend our brother. We're not let that, going to let that happen. <laughs> it would have been an all-out brawl. And the fans are really close to the court. I don't even want to think about what could have happened had he gotten to LeBron and all the players are fighting. It could have been chaos. So this is not something to just be brushed over. I'm glad he's not like 10 games or anything like that. But you got to send a strong enough message to let him know, look, buddy, this cannot ever so happen. You can be upset, all that, but you can't, you can't almost start a, a, a team on team brawl like this. So I agree with a lot of that. I also got something wrong yesterday. I said Jokic got two games for shoving Markeith Morris, who, by the way, is still out, not coming back anytime soon due to the injuries suffered from Jokic's shove. I was, I, for some reason in my head, Jokic got two. Jokic only got one. And that makes me feel like LeBron deserves zero. Let me, let me, let me, let me first of all say that this, that analysis by Chris Broussard and Nick Wright especially Nick Wright, was some of the most absurd nonsense I've heard in a very long time. I'm, I'm afraid to say, I'm sorry to say, especially for Chris Broussard, because I like him. Chris Broussard, instead of focusing on what actually happened, 
he was talking about what could have happened. Well, what could have happened didn't happen. And because that didn't happen, why are you why are you bringing that into your analysis as far as the reason why you feel certain players should be suspended? And how can that be? How can you penalize Isaiah Stewart for something he didn't do and then not penalize LeBron for the thing that he actually did, which started the actual altercation? Help me understand how any of this makes sense. How do you come to such a conclusion? Instead of talking about what actually happened, we're here talking about what could have happened. Who litigates a case like that? Who bases a case or decision off of things that haven't happened in this particular situation? The NBA was looking at what actually took place on the court. So I totally, totally disagree with those positions that they took. Let me talk about what Nick Wright had to say. Nick Wright then goes on to say that he thought what Nikola Jokic did to Marquise, Markeith Morris was more egregious than what LeBron James did. Like, okay, listen, listen, listen. I told you guys this before and I'm going to say it again. I don't care if Nick Wright sees this video. A lot of you guys feel that Nick Wright is smart because he has a large vocabulary and he's wearing a suit. I think a lot of his arguments that he makes are not sound at all. At all. In reality, they're not. How, how, in, how is it in your mind that you're able to equate the two? One guy busts somebody else across the lip. He was bleeding all over the court. That's what one guy did. And that guy is the one that initiated the event. In the case of Nikola Jokic, he was responding to something that happened to him. And at the end of all of that, you take those two pieces of information, you juxtapose them together. And the conclusion you reach is what? That LeBron, what LeBron did was less agree. Like, how do you, how? you know what? Listen. I think, I truly believe this from the depths of my heart. I believe this. I believe that these guys feel as if they have an audience base that is unintelligent. I truly believe that because you can only get that past people who can't reason properly. Thank God at Dreamers Pro, one of our goals is, is to build the most intelligent sports audience out there. If you listen to some of the, if you read some of the comments that people on our channel leave, people are actually thinking and reasoning th through things. Of course, you have some people that, that just get upset when you present them with logic and they start tripping out. And, and, and the only response to that is, oh, you're hating. That's all they do, right? Logic is like their enemy. They, it's their, logic is not their best friend. But the majority of people on our channel are thinking, intelligent people. Go look at the comments that they leave. I don't believe anybody on our channel that follows Dreamers Pro would listen to an argument like that and say, you know what? That makes sense. How does that even make sense? And to me, I think it's just ridiculous. What is the problem with saying the truth? What's going to happen? What is going to happen? I just don't understand how they were able to reach that conclusion. And to me, just to the, it's totally ludicrous. It's ludicrous. I can understand if you say, listen, kind of. I can understand if you say, Isaiah Stewart deserved more games than LeBron, but LeBron deserved it. But, but for you to say LeBron deserves n not even one suspense because, you know, you want to protect the... What? I am extremely disappointed with those positions. And to be quite honest with you, it makes no sense. There's no need for this. Call it like it is. Call it like it is. In reality, we would like people that are honest and straightforward. For why would you... Why, why, why would, if... Okay. If that was one of your kids... They got into an altercation. He he bumped some kid across the lip in the play uh, in the playground. You're gonna come home and tell yourself my kid has no role to play in this in, in, in that event. And the other kid starts charging at him. You're gonna say my kid doesn't deserve to be suspended, but the other kids are you. What what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? We're 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 applying logic that we would not apply to ourselves, but but, but because we like a particular person, we're gonna make an exception. To me, it makes no sense. I have no respect for that for those takes. And uh, listen, we had no we had no intention of doing this video, but I think this is absolutely ridiculous. And I think this is the reason why some people are starting to gravitate to, toward towards other voices out there. People are tired of it. Don't spit in my face and tell me it's raining. It's absurd. So what I want to know from you guys is, what do you think about these nonsense takes? Nonsense takes. That's my position. Whether you like it or not, I have a position. And I'm willing to defend it with reasoning and logic. Not a bunch of nonsense. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. 
Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.